Hey, Mike Caldwell, the marketing medic here. And if you're watching the video, you've probably read the headline and you're probably wondering yourself what anything even remotely re related to emergency medical services or EMS has to do with online digital marketing, right? Well, I'll get to that in a second, but first I just want to give you a really brief history of where I came from and how I got to where I am today. So I was a firefighter paramedic for 12 years. I worked in Hamilton, Ontario. I worked as a firefighter in Colorado. I was a medical officer there for the fire department. And then I returned to Ottawa where I was the uh, chief paramedic for the air ambulance, the helicopter base here. Um, but then I fell off a cliff and I broke my arm and my leg and my back and that put a little bit of a, a hiccup in my paramedic career. And for anybody who's had a near-death experience, they find that they really start to think about what's important to them, what their values are, you know, what they want to do with their life sort of thing. So what I learned is that I really hated working nights. I'm not a night person. I like to go to bed early. I like to get up early. And anything after, like, midnight is just sort of painful to my body. I also don't do well with authority. Um, I don't like being told what to do. And so being an entrepreneur just made sense to me. So I, uh, I sold my house, I sold my cottage, and I bought um, an abandoned sawmill on 6,000 square acres of, of Gatineau Forest uh, property here. And I built some businesses. And what ended up happening is I built some amazing businesses. Um, the people that came here, they all, like, they all said that what I was offering was better than anything else out there on the market. But the thing was is I wasn't overrun with business. I didn't understand why that was if I was, you know, if, my bit, if what I was offering was so good, why weren't more people coming? And you might be in the same position and it all comes down to marketing. <laughs> There's a horse peeing behind me if you can hear that. Anyways, I'm going to let that run. Um, so yeah, so you might be having the same thing. It's like if it's marketing, right? And so I started to try to learn what needed to be done, what the successful online marketers were doing, like what they were doing to promote their businesses online. And there's just so many options out there. And what I, what I found was that the, uh, the bar has really been lowered for people to be able to build their own online marketing funnels, which was awesome because now I could finally afford to create my own website or my own marketing funnel. And I thought that was the solution because that's what the gurus told me. They basically said, um, you know, sign up for our, our, our online platform to build a marketing funnel, build a funnel, hire an accountant um, to count your money. And if you've done that, then you probably know that you know you can you can build this you can get the software you can build the funnel but the money doesn't necessarily come gushing in so then I went out to try to find you know what was I missing what was I doing wrong and there are so many bells and whistles out there so many adjuncts and platforms and different things that you can add that it's overwhelming right and I think a lot of you are probably feeling that right now so this is where I went back to my roots as a paramedic as a firefighter and on the air ambulance I had access to the most cutting-edge equipment in uh, in pre-hospital services in the world okay we're flying around on a multi-million dollar helicopter we had machines that like some of the doctors in the ERs didn't know how to work right and the thing was is as important and as valuable as all those tools were the patient wouldn't survive if we didn't pay close attention to their airway their breathing and their circulation the ABC's all right and that is true for every aspect of your life there's a core competency for whatever you do and this is true for your online funnels as well and so what I've been able to do is I've been able to break down the ABC's or the top three priorities the the like the 80 percent of of the uh, efforts that you 80 percent of the return you get comes from like 20 percent of your effort all right so you really need to focus on on those core values the ABC's and that's what I've done with my standing standard operating procedures all right so what we've done is um, for every aspect of your funnel uh, ladder you've got you know you've got your lead generation you've got your, your funnel build you got your um, your your advertising there's always three there's at least there's usually only three components that that you need to meet and if you can do those three basics then you will have a successful funnel so what I've tried to do with my platform is I've tried to create something that makes sense, that's some, that, that is understandable, and that doesn't get you completely overwhelmed. It's a step-by-step -step process. It's an over-my-shoulder process that will show you exactly what you need to do to succeed in your online business. 
And by online business, it doesn't have to be an online business. It's just you're marketing online to your business, whether it be an online business or a brick and mortar shop. All right, so there's some testimonials below. You can check those out. Um, you can read a little bit about my history, learn about me, and you can find out if uh, what I offer is right for your business. All right, now my dogs are attacking one of the horses, so it's getting crazy here. So I gotta go and uh, check out my uh, check out my check sheet and apply it, and I guarantee you'll have results. All right, see you. See you. I don't know around somewhere. Okay, bye bye.